What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 9. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an awesome team to show off for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Intimidate Luxray team alongside with Choice Specs Moltres and Swift Swim Kingdra. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smash that like button and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that's been going out across the channel. We are on the road to 10k subscribers, so if you guys are not subscribed to the channel already, what are you guys doing? It only takes a second of you guys' time. Just scroll down and click that little subscribe button. It benefits you guys because I pop up in your guys' feed. You guys still want to search for my video, and it benefits me as a content creator. But getting started with this team right here, I really did want to pick something that was like kind of meta, but then kind of off meta at the same time. And I feel like this team kind of fit it perfectly with the choice specs on the Moltres. You don't really see a lot of that. And the Luxray with Intimidate over here. You never see Luxray. So I'm glad we're going to be able to show off this Pokemon. But Politoed in that top left corner. We have Drizzle. He gets that Rain Starter. You guys already know what he can do. A Guav Berry to give him a little bit more HP. And then that moveset of Helping Hand, Protect, Scald, and Parish Song. Right next to him is going to be a big part of this team. It's going to be that Swift Swim King Drift. Doubles its speed in the rain. Got that Life Orb as his item so it does some more damage. Then that amazing moveset for him with Hydro Pump. Drake a meteor both our stab moves and then hurricane for our coverage move and that speed boost when we dynamax and protect for our final move middle left is going to be instant war a pokemon that you can bring in on any single team and it will just work out just fine intimidate over here and that figgy berry at item taunt flare blitz parting shot and fake out for its move set Roll boom right next to him. Another Pokemon you could bring in on any single team and it work it will work out just fine. Grassy Surge ability, Assault Vest so we can circle some shots, Grassy Glide for first turn priority in the surge, fake out for the flinches, super power for coverage, and wood hammer for big stab grass damage. Bottom left corner is gonna be Luxray. Cannot wait to show off this Pokemon with that Intimidate. So we got two Intimidate Pokemon on the team. We got a lot of attack drops to be honest. We got two Pokemons with Snarl, we got a parting shot in Cinderor, and two Intimidate. So I'm gonna be rocking out and dropping some attack and special attack throughout these videos. Like I said, Intimidate ability, Citrus Berry to give it a little bit more HP, Bolt Switch to pivot out, Snarl to drop special attack, Wild Charge for big stab damage, and Super Power for our coverage move. Final Pokemon is going to be this Choice Specs Berserk Moltres, and hopefully we get to show him off to the fullest potential. I feel like this Pokemon can do a big amount of damage with that Choice Specs, especially if we get the Berserk popping, we'll get the Berserk boost, and then that Choice Specs boost on top, and then Stab damage on top, considering all of our moves are Stab. We have Fiery Wrath, Hurricane that's hitting 100% of the time in the rain, Snarl to drop special attack, and Air Slash for Stab flying damage. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Swift Swim Kingdra and Intimidate Luxray team. Hopping into battle number one, going up against a Stock Attack at Trick Room team alongside with Storm Drain, Gaston, Ndidi, Hatterene, Zapdos, and Incinemore. All right, I think Galarian Moltres got to get that lead here. He's got to get that lead. We can prevent a huge Trick Room with that Hatterene and that Ndidi, and we can get rocking out from there. I might actually lead the. Uh, do I need Intimidate here? I might actually lead the Kingdra here. Kingdra's not bad. Kingdra can do big damage, but I'm trying to counteract this uh this Trick Room. That's more so what I'm trying to do. So I might actually end up leading the Kingdra, trying to get off big damage. Trying to take out some Pokemon from here. And then, uh, what other Pokemon would I like to bring in here? Would I like to bring in Incineroar? I feel like Robin would be a lot better. He has a lot of special attackers. And I think Luxray could be our final Pokemon. Luxray's not too bad. He's not too bad here. He does have the What's Called. Hmm. Who do I want to go into? I'm going to bring Luxray. I feel like Luxray could be nice. I feel like we can rock out and we can get some work done with him. But guys, let me know for question of the day. And that is what Pokemon do you guys think they should add to the Gen 4 Diamond and Pearl remake? Considering I love Diamond and Pearl. I love everything about it. But the one thing that was really missing in that was Fire type Pokemon. If you didn't take Infernape in the beginning, you were kind of out of luck for Fire type Pokemon. They had like maybe one or two and they weren't even that good. So hopefully they add some Fire type Pokemon. That is what Pokemon I would like to see. So definitely let me know your guys' answer in the comment section down below. Let's see who he leads. Let's see who he leads. He's going to go in with, uh, ooh, these two. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm totally fine with this. I'm totally fine with this. We got these two. We thought maybe I was leading the rain combo, which I kind of did half and half, but I do have this, uh, Choice Specs Moltres. I'm just going to drop a nice little Fiery Wrath. Do some big damage over onto that in the slot. And then, uh, get after maybe with an Airstream. With Fiery Wrath 100% to play, and then I can just, uh, get after it with the airstream i can just warm one really up to me really up to me here hmm. what i want to do i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna do this i think we're gonna go in with this uh this warm one try to get off some big damage see what we can do from here 
But we're going to Dynamax here. He predicted me going into the rain squad. We went half and half. I feel like we made a nice little play here by going into these two. And he's not swapping out the Indeedee, which is really, really nice. It really works out in our favor. So I'm really liking this so far. But guys, since we missed double uploads this weekend, I am going to go back to back with Pokemon Sword and Shield videos. I was busy Saturday. I went out with my boys, went to a party. Wasn't even home all day. And then next day, I wasn't home again because we ended up going, taking a beach trip, hanging out, and going from there. So, uh, yeah, double uploads. Tomorrow's video is going to be another Pokemon Sword and Shield video. And it is going to be on uh, a Dragonite team, which looks amazing. But huge damage coming out from here. Huge damage coming out from Kingdra. Absolutely dumping on the Gastron. We get the attack drop onto the uh, Indeedee, which doesn't really matter. But we get rid of that Pokemon, and we waste a huge turn because he went for Helping Hand. And Fiery Wrath, Choice Spec coming out here. This is probably going to pick up the KO here as well. Let's see it. It does not, but really close. Really, really close. He triggers the berry. Still, we're totally fine here. We're sitting really pretty here. I can go for another Fiery Wrath. Take out that Indeedee next turn. And uh, take out the, or do big damage to the next Pokemon there as well. Which is awesome. Which is awesome. Let's see. Sakataka's going to come out here. We're sitting in the rain. We're getting off some Geyser damage here. Fiery Wrath is going to be popping out here again. We have to use it. And then Geyser, get that rain, get that speed advantage here as well. He might go for a follow me, which is a little tough news, I would have to say. If he does go for a follow me. Considering uh, he can get off a Trick Room at that point. Yep, there it is. There's the follow me. Okay. So follow me comes out here. Geyser is going to come out here first. We're going to take out the Ndidi and the Fiery Wrath going to slide over and hit Psychotaka. But he does have Trick Room. He's going to Dynamax him afterwards. So I'm really hoping we can eat up a shot from him, which we should be able to, and then get off a huge geyser. But still, I do have Real Boom in the back, which is nice. Which is really, really nice. And I do have Luxray here as well. But I think this thing might be physical attacking. I'm not too sure. Could be special, but I'm really, really not too sure. But still, that's some big damage. Half it down, he's going to get off that Trick Room. Yeah, he's going to Dynamax that Pokemon or his next Pokemon. So it's a 4v2, and your boy is thriving. Your boy's thriving out here. Been having so much fun recording Pokemon Sword and Shield videos for you guys. Been doing really good on the Rank Ladder. If you guys haven't checked out our last video, we had a perfect record. Went 3-0 with the Metagross and Latiasim. And hopefully we can pick up a winning record here. Because I think we've been on hot streak for winning records. I think this is like... We have three videos in a row. We went, we went winning records. We're looking for a fourth here. Maybe five. Maybe looking for number five. I'm not too sure. But I know we've been doing really well. But tomorrow's video is going to be awesome. So stay tuned for that one as well. Because I think we... Who do we have on the team? I know we have Dragonite. Dragonite was like the main core. Oh, it was Dragonite and uh, Metagross. The really awesome team right there. Really cool team. We do have a uh, Confi, I think, on there as well. So it's really powerful. He brings out this. Intimidates can come out here against two special attackers. So that's wonderful. Both our physical attackers are in the back. That's huge. And, um... Oh, dude, I'm, we're sitting totally fine here. I'm going to go for a Fiery Wrath. And I feel like Stakataka really poses the bigger threat. But I'm going to go after him. Yeah, Sakataka definitely poses the bigger threat. In this trick room, at least. And, yo, we're dominating this battle. Jeez, man. Get him out of here. Get this dude out of my game. Get him out of my face. Not dealing with this anymore. And look at my guy rocking the man bun. That guy's rocking the man bun. I was thinking about uh, actually doing the man bun. You guys usually don't see my hair. My hair is pretty long. Like you guys can see it back here. It's really long. And I can actually put it into like a little bun. But I've been thinking about it. But we'll see. We'll definitely see it. I, right now, I'm just rocking the flow. Like, my hair is long. I just have it all back. It looks really well. I, I have decent hair. But he ends up with Dynamax Stop and Taka. We make a great play by going for the guys on that slot. And I feel like we're going to be able to pull it off, even though Trick Room is about. Let's see what happens here. Fake Out comes out here. Whoa. Did not see that one coming. We didn't see that one coming. It's all good. Rockfall's going to drop here and probably take out my Moltres, which is no big deal. I know you're going to go after my Kingdra, which was a bigger mistake because now you don't KO this thing, or you don't get a KO at all. And we're going to be able to change up weather, take out Stakataka, and potentially get a sweep. We're probably going to get that sweep. We haven't lost one Pokemon because this should KO, right? Get him out of here. Get him out of my game. Go on. Go on. See you later. Hasta luego. Get him out of my face. Cinnador's final Pokemon. Yeah, we got this one in a wrap. But hopefully we get the sweep. Maybe he'll run. We'll get the we'll get the clean sweep for an Owen. It's the best feeling when you just lead two Pokemon and they they just crush it the whole match. They really do. He went for a, a helping hand earlier to try to do some big damage on him at Kingdra, but that was kind of our, our starting point. We just dumped on that thing and got after him from, the, from there. But we are choosing to a Fiery Wrath that I am still going to go into. And I'm going to drop a Hydro Pump because if this connects, it's GG's. Or you're just going to cancel. Let's see what he does. Let's see what my boy does. He's going to have first turn priority considering the trick room. So he's going to go first. Let's see what you do with that. Don't take out my Pokemon. I'm going to be upset if you do that. 
I'm gonna be real upset. I'm looking for a great start here with Sweet. Dude, Moltres, oh, dude, I love the look of Glaive and Moltres. It just looks so dope. All the Glaive and Birds really look dope. And he cancels the battle. We get that clean sweep and start off today's video 1-0. Before we get started with the second battle, check out this hat, guys. Check out this hat. Into the AM. Into the AM right here. This is the brand sponsored with me. Link down in the description below. You get yourself 10% off using that link. There's also code. Use my code. It's jeans. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Definitely go check out their merchandise. It is amazing. The quality is awesome. I absolutely love this hat. They sent me shirts. They sent me uh, tank tops as well. Totally comfortable, totally breathable. I wear them out to parties when I'm going out with the boys or if I'm just chilling at home. So definitely make sure you support your boy using that code or that uh, that link down there. That link will give you 10% off. Or if the link's not working, make sure you use that code jeans over there. Get yourself some quality product and some awesome summer clothes. But second battle here, going up against the Cinderace team and a coaching rival. Coaching Rylo, not really like that. I'm gonna leave my uh my luxury just in case he wants to go into like a, a coaching kind of thing. And then uh who should I go in there to from there? We we'll go into Kingdra. Kingdra's not bad. I'm liking Kingdra here. And then I really want to bring in Moltres because Moltres really rocks out. So we're gonna bring in Moltres and then in the final spot I'm thinking uh Robin. Thinking is the same team? Same team, different order. Yeah, I'm really liking it. I am digging it a lot. Really, really digging it. I just have Raichu with that, uh, with that, uh, what is that called? The Lightning Rod. So I gotta remember that. I gotta remember the Lightning Rod, and I gotta remember that, uh, that Lapras disability, because you can swap into that. Because it could have, uh, what is it? Water Abdul. So I really don't want to waste turns, especially Dynamax turns, with Pokemon like that. But he ends up going Raichu and Lapras. Kind of throwing me off here. Unless that's, is that physical attacking? It could be physical attacking. Like, that's a little weird. That's a little weird. It could be physical attacking. Not liking that. Could it be physical? That's kind of scaring me. It really is. I don't know if I should snarl if, or if I should bolt switch. If I should just uh, throw a wild charge into this thing. I think I'm just going to do. Put airstream, start taking speed. That could be the play. Good job, boys. So I think I'm just going to actually just double into this thing. I'm not I'm not liking Lapras at all. I really am not. I'm going to double up into Lapras. Tell it to go home. Tell it to get out of my game. Because why would he lead it with a Rylou? He does switch all the Rylou, which is totally fine by me. And who are you going to go into? I'm going to end up going into Raichu. Yeah. That's totally fine by me. Raichu floats. He's going to get that uh, Lightning Rod absorb it up. That's totally fine. Even though I said, got to watch out for that Lightning Rod and the Water Absorb. I really wasn't expecting him to go for a switch. I thought maybe he was, he was keeping in that Rylou. Which, yeah, I'm, I'm totally fine with. As long as this Lapras doesn't protect, I feel like we can sit fine. <laughs> Let's just see what happens. Let's, let's just see what happens here. Let's just play this one out. Let's just play this one out. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna Dynamax Lapras. Okay. Dynamaxing the Lapras. D maxing the Lapras. Uh, I wonder what he was doing. I think he was just trying to bait a move. So let's just see. Let's just see what happens here. So we're not gonna be able to get off this shot. I do have a superpower. But I'm just going to start Snarling after this. I think Snarl should have been to play the whole time. This one when pops. Getting off some nice damage. Not too bad. Low battery. Yo, good thing. Your boy always. 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 Keeps his charger in. Plugged in. So, look at this. Look at this. We charge. We charge. No problem. No battery problems here. Lightning Rod comes out here. Soaks up the shot. That's our only problem. <laughs> Is the Lightning Rod there. Resonance is coming off here. He's going to get off that lovely little roar bell. Onto my... Hey, my Kingdra! Leave my Kingdra alone. So he gets that off. I'm going to start snarling. I might guard here. Guard might be the play. Do I guard it? I think I might guard it. I'm definitely snarling. The warm one again. I could airstream. Yeah, I, might, I would rather warm one, to be honest with you guys. Or do I just... I might just guard this one. Hmm. I can see him coming after me. I'm going to guard and snarl. That's going to be player. Guard up. Drop special attack and roll from there. Danger with the guard. Bing bang. Thunderbolt comes out here. Block. Block that, baby. Here goes my snarl. Lovely. Drop that special attack, which is huge. And I'm guessing Lapras is coming to me. That'd be a huge max guard. That'd be a huge turn for us. Air balloon popped. G-Max resonance. Blocked. Get him out of here. Huge turn for us. That was big play. Big max guard for me. Um, I'm going to start out again. And I am going to Wormwind and finish off this Raichu. I feel like this should finish off this Raichu. 
Actually, it might not because of the, the resonance. Thunderbolt's gonna come out here. We eat. This resonance gonna be able to take me out. We do outspeed with shoot, so you can take me out now. Let's see what he does. There's that. Get it out of my game. Actually, it probably is not gonna take us out. Because we're gonna be able to outspeed and get off a snarl again. This thing's gonna be minus two. We're gonna be able to eat up and get off another turn with my Kingdra. Which is dandy candy. Here's my snarl. Boop. Special attack drop. Yo, Luxray. Luxray's the man, yo. I'm really liking this Luxray set right here. Here's a resonance. Again, onto my Kingdra. Kingdra, you should be able to eat minus two. Tasty, yo. Dude, that was such a good snack. It was a zebra cake. You guys ever had zebra cakes as a kid? You guys know those things are top tier snacks. Zebra cakes are delicious. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are zebra cake guys. Or girls, or girls. I don't judge. But Cinderace comes out here a little scary. Ain't even going front. Ain't even going to lie. Comes out here. I could go into an easy uh, wild charge here. I might pivot out. I'm going to pivot out here. Just so I can get it off another Intimidate. And I might protect. You know what? I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump. We're going to go go for it. Let's see what he does. I'm pivoting out just to get off another Intimidate. And if we don't KO, we can bring out Rillaboom. And we should be sitting fine. He doesn't have no Dynamaxes. Let's just see what he does. His Lapras is the slowest. Lapras hands down slowest. He's going to withdraw the Lapras. That's totally fine. He's going to bring out Riley. Okay. So Coach and Riley's going to come out here. Good thing we're pivoting out for another Intimidate. And we'll see how this rolls out. Generous is going to bounce. Yo, that's a big turn for us. I'm really liking this turn. I am really liking this turn right here. He's going to bounce. He's saying, hey, yo, I'm bouncing up here. Hydro Pump comes out here. Oh, dude. It, oh, no, it was going after Cinderace. I thought we were going after Riley for a second. He's going to be like, yo, it missed. What you mean? Well, there's my pivot. We get our Intimidate once again. And I am going to bring out... I think I'm just going to choice back into a, uh, a flying move. It did change to a flying type. I'm just going to wait for uh, King Jr. to go down here. Where do I do this? I think Fiery Wrath might be the play. Hmm. What's Sheen's one do here? Where do I just go for an Air Slash? I think Air Slash could be good. Let's go Air Slash. Let's choice into the Air Slash. And then let's go into... Hmm. We can, if we can lead a uh, land Hydro Pump, actually Draco Meteor would be a little bit better. Considering we're going to go down soon, and it's a uh, bigger stab damage, and this thing's not fire type anymore. Vacuum Wave's going to come out here. Hey, yo, chill on me. Chill on me going for a Vacuum Wave. Here goes the bounce. Who you going after? Kingdra. Yep. He's going to be able to take out Kingdra here, and an Air Slash is going to pop through. And I'm going to get off an Intimidate next turn. Intimidate. Show off the Life Orb. Air Slash comes out here. Stab. Super effective. Choice spec. Still don't pick up the KO. What you mean? Oh, Roar Veil was big. Roar Veil really did, did big. Um, I could get Grassy Guy for first turn priority. But no, we're gonna bring out we're gonna bring out this Intimidate. That's gonna be a play for me. Intimidate, just so if he coaches, we could still be able to eat up easily and thrive from there. So good pivot by us. That Volt Switch was huge. Luxury getting back out here. Such a cool Pokemon. Such a cool Pokemon. Definitely one of the top tier Pokemon for Gen 4. Intimidate dropping. Uh we gotta go for another air slash. Um, which do I go after? I think I hit that Cinerace with this. And then I could Wild Charge. Wild Charge is super effective, but he's not, he's gonna switch typing, so I think I'd rather just go for a Wild Charge over on the Rylou, finish him off, and get off an Air Slash over on the U. He's gonna coach, he is gonna end up coaching, so big Intimidate from us, just bring him back up to normal, he got the defense boost, but we have a special attacking shot going into him, let's see how much damage he really is gonna do, Power Ball's gonna come out here, I'm gonna switch back typing, who you going after? Who you going after? I'm kinda scared of this though, I think he's Orb, that's some big damage all around, eat up, yes sir Luxray, sir. There goes that life form. And my citrus berry that I totally forgot about. Awesome. Citrus berry gets popping out here. Run it. Run it, baby. Air slash coming. Bang. How much damage are we doing? Do some nice damage there. Wild charge going to be able to pick up the KO onto the Shrylu. Get him out of my game. Tenere is going to be able to get off another turn. But still, we have a grass guy boy in the back. Get damaged by recoil. And we will go down to a pyro ball. Uh, do we think he, he might bounce? That could be a problem. That could be a problem that he's going to bounce. But if he does bounce, uh, if he does bounce, that's totally fine. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to wild charge here. Yeah, bounce I'm totally fine with now that I think about it. If he bounces, like, okay, we miss a move, but then we still get off a move onto the Lapras. But the best part is, we have our boy, uh, Robin in the back. We got first turn priority all day. 
So we got this one pretty much wrapped up. I think we're going to go 2-0 and guarantee ourselves a winning record here, which would be awesome. But even better would be if we can go back-to-back -back perfect record videos. That would be amazing. Let's see. I think he, I think he's trying to study. He might protect. That could be a play. He does not protect. So, okay. Awesome turn for us all around. He's going to take out one of my Pokemon. Probably my Luxray. Yep. Luxray's gone. Yo, I'm totally fine with that. Moltres outspeeds the Lapras. We take out the uh, Cinderace here. The Cinderace is gone, and then we just have Robin to come in and grass guide and win this battle for us. GG's. He's probably thinking that. He's probably like, I have a shot here if it's not Rillaboom. That's what he's thinking. He's like, I have I have a little shot here if it's not Rillaboom. We eat up anyway. And it was a crit. Wow. Wowzers. Now we got Berserk. Now you're in trouble. Now you're in trouble. <laughs> but he's probably sitting there like, okay, maybe we have a shot if it's not Rillaboom. And then now I'm just going to throw out Giant Monkey. You can't go wrong with this Pokemon on your team. Look at him. He does just good all around. Just the goat. And he's his whole bestest, so he ain't dying in one shot. No chance. Get this dude out my face. Get him out of here. Get him out of my game. Air Slash popping. Choice Spec and Berserk. And then Grass Guy. You got, you got nothing on me. You got nothing on me. Cancel the battle. Get out of my game. Get him out of here. Your boy is rolling. Five game win streak combining with the last video. Let's run it. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. Looking for that back-to-back -back perfect records. We're hopping into our third and final battle. This guy has a Metagross team with Cinderace. Very heavy powerhouse two Pokemon right there. He also has the Arcanine, the Whimscot for Tailwind, Sweetcoon, and Urshifu. All right, I'm thinking, hmm, what should I do? What should I do? Intimidate could be good. I definitely want to bring in a Intimidate Pokemon, maybe even two. I might have Tailwind ready to rock out, so I think I might actually bring in you for Intimidate or a fake and a fake out, and go with Kingdra. I think Kingdra's always a good option here. We might want to Dynamax him off the rip. Bring in you. And then final Pokemon, do I bring in Rillaboom or do I stick with my Luxray? Get double Intimidate rocking out there. Luxray's not bad. Hmm, what does Jeans want to do? What does Jeans want to do? I'm thinking Luxray sits in the back here. A Snarl could be good. Hmm. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I th I'm thinking I'm going to bring Rillaboom. I think Rillaboom's just a little bit better in this situation. Keep Luxray out of here. We showed him off in that last battle, which is awesome. We're going to get rolling here and try to get ourselves that perfect record. Somebody let me know in the comment section down below what win streak am I on. Because when it was loading up for the next battle, I do not know if I'm on a 5 or a 6. Because maybe in the, uh, the video, not the last video, the one before that, maybe the last battle we got to win. So we might have won that battle, won the next three in our video, so that's four, and then won the next two here so forth. So that could be six. I know we're on a five or six. So someone let me know who watches the videos in the comment section down below. I would love to know. But hopefully we can keep it rolling here. We're on a five or six. I'm looking for back to back perfect records. Let's see what happens here. Intimidate comes out here. We drop an Intimidate here as well. But I'm totally fine with that Intimidate. I kind of had him leading the Whimscott, so now I can fake it out and uh, airstream it. That's going to be my play. That's going to be my play. Let's fake it out. Get that airstream rocking. And uh, take speed that way. Because Arcanine might swap. Or he might protect. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Or it could be that... Oh, ooh, wait a minute. It could be justified. He could be going for a fairy move. He could be beat up. Like that, that, that might be the option there. Which I, I'm fine with it if that, that is it. Because we're going to pick this thing out. And we're going to be able to just take it out right here right now. Take speed advantage. And then guys are next turn. Let's see what he does. Let's see what his play is. He does not Dynamax, so fake out coming out here. Well, this guy's going to go down here. He might Snarl. He might have a Snarl up on his sleeve. Yep, there's a Snarl. That's totally fine by me. Not my special deck. Dude, I dare you. We still should be able to take this thing out, no problem. And I should still be able to get off the Geyser next turn. And I think I'm just going to Parting Shot. For my Instant War. The Wim's got out my game. Get him going. Um, I think I'd rather Parting Shot onto a different Pokemon. Such as... Whoever he throws in Wim's Cop for. Because I don't think it's Arcanine's really gonna be uh, going, looking for attack for now. I think he's just gonna be trying to snarl. We do have speed advantage. I am gonna geyser it. See if I can take it out from there. And then just parting shot onto the. Oh, we can't parting shot on the Megos. Do I flare blitz onto it? Hmm. I don't, I don't think I flare blitz. I think I'm just, just, just gonna parting shot onto Arcanine. I really just want to swap here. That's really my play. Let's just get off a swap. That Metagross is really posing a big threat. There's Dynamax from him. Dang, man. Dude, Metagross is scaring me. He really is scaring me. He's clear body, so it's going to be tough. But I, I need a swap. 
I need a swap. Flare Blitz is going to do no damage. It's probably just going to proc its policy. So there's no point of going into that Flare Blitz if we're not going to get all big damage. Considering I want to go for a Geyser here as well. So that, that would definitely neglect a lot of the Flare Blitz damage. Here's my Geyser. I'm thinking this could take it out. We are minus one. Life Orb is probably going to uh, help us out here though. Yep, we still pick up the KO. That's a big KO for us. And Incineroar should be able to outspeed easily. You get a crit too. Incineroar is going to be able to outspeed easily. We're going to be able to parting shot. Have an Intimidate in the back end. And then bring out... Who do I want to bring out? I think he's going to go for a guy or a Quake. His clear body. Do I still get a swap? I don't get a swap? Bro, I was going to swap it to my bird. I was going to swap it to my bird. That would have been huge. I knew he was clear bodied. But I thought we would still get a swap. I never had that happen to me before. So that was like my that was the first time. Dang, dude. It would have been huge. I was gonna swap it to Glary Moltres, thinking he was gonna go into a quake. Which he does. I'm gonna try to at least parting shot into that. Pressure comes out here. That's totally fine, that ability. Kind of poo-poo. I ain't gonna lie. I'm going to parting shot on you, and then I am gonna go for a uh worm win, just because it's stab. Get some big damage off on this weekend. He might protect, but dude, come on. I thought I thought it was just gonna be like, okay, he's clear body. He doesn't get stat drop, but we still swap out. Dang, man. I would have hard swapped at that point. I would have hard swapped. That would have been, been big for us. But at least Incineroar survives there. At least he does survive. Wormans can come out here. Can we pick up KO? No. This thing's a little tanky here. Hopefully we can get this party shot off now. Hopefully Jeans can do it. Oh, these are his last two Pokemon. I'm gonna be able to get off this party shot. That's big. Big move for jeans. So finally, we get off that pardon shot. We get to swap out here. Um, do I think he's gonna quake again? Possibly. Oh yeah, let's uh, let's go into you. Yeah, I'm liking this. Go ahead, quake me again. Go for that special defense, please. Let's see what happens here. Just for oh hey hey hey, what are you doing? You knock it off. You knock it off. Go for that quake. Go for that quake. Show it to me. Sir, there's Quake. Ain't happening. He's got leftovers. This guy is calm mind boosting. Uh, what do I do from here? What do I do from here? I gotta get after that speaking. Gotta start getting after. I can. Oh, I can drop hurricanes for free. I can drop hurricanes for free all day, day. Or I can just go for straight fiery wrath. Fiery wrath's looking good here too. I think I am gonna go for fiery wrath, and I think I'm just gonna drop a hurricane. Where do I drop a Draco? I'm minus one, but. Might just take me out here. I think I'd rather go for a uh, hurricane. Maybe try to get ducks. Cause he might not take out my King Joe here. Let's see what he does. Hurricane comes out here. So I really want to get rid of this Pokemon. So not even a lot of damage at all. Combine's boosting, but we do get the ducks. We do get the ducks, which is lovely. Fire Rats gonna pop out here. We do have uh, Roll Boom in the back for that. Speaking, get some damage off on that Metagross. Is this thing policy? Ouch. Ouchie. Ouches. Take out my Kingja, Metagross. Hit yourself, please, Spikun. Do it. Yes! <laughs> yes! He goes for a Quake. That's totally fine. You go for a Quake over there. You're going to be able to bring out my Rollboom here. I'm totally cool with that. That's huge. Rollboom's going to get popping out here. His Dynamax turns are over here as well. Your Dynamax turns are gone. I'm going to be able to take out Suicune. No problem with my Rollboom. Dude, Rollboom's so clutch in the back. Good thing we brought him. Even though what's called would have been pretty solid here as well. Luxray. Luxray would have been able to take out Sweeping no problem. And then get after that, uh, that what's it called? Oh, we still have Incineroar. I totally forgot we still have Incineroar. But I'd rather bring out Roboom at this point. Uh, do I go for the Glide? Hmm. Do I even go for the Glide or do I fake out? Is this thing going to protect? Even if he does protect, I, I still feel like a Fiery Wrath could pick up the KO onto this thing. Let's just see. Actually, I don't know. That's gonna be that's tough news. Let's glide. Let's get the glide rolling. He might protect. I think he is gonna protect that Suicune. I think I'm, I maybe should have made the read, but it, again, if I don't, then that Suicune has a potential chance to take out one of my Pokemon because he's, he's boosted pretty well here. So I have to pose that threat. I have to just angle that thing down. Let's see. Good. He does not protect. Grass guy comes out here. Get him out my game. Get him out of here. Your boy is buzzing. It is now a 3v1 situation. Range should be ending by the time my uh, Incineroar comes back out here. And Fire Rash should be able to do a decent amount of damage there. There it is. Bring it down to red. That's going to be game, baby. That is going to be game.
And we should be able to eat that up as well. Easy eats. Easy eats. That's going to be game. Your boy goes back to back. Perfect records, 3-0 once again, which is awesome. So we are now on a 6 or 7 game win streak. Definitely someone let me know in the comment section down below so I can start off my next video on a high win streak and maybe try to keep that rolling because my highest is 8. No, it's 9. It is 9. My highest is 9. I remember getting it. I'm not talking about, like, I'm talking about on recording. My highest on when I used to stream. Oh, this dude turned off his console. <laughs> let me finish my sentence. But my highest on stream is 12. I remember doing that with a Mudsdale team, but my highest on recording is nine. We uh, it was it was in a span of four videos. So the first video we actually ended up uh, what is it? Winning the last battle. So we lost one, then won the last battle. Went on a perfect uh record, three and zero. So that's four. Perfect record again. Went three and zero. So that's seven. And then we won uh one and two and lost the third one. So we had nine. So we're sitting at six or seven. Someone definitely let me know. This guy cancel out his battle, and we get ourselves that winning record. The teams that we have been recently using have been amazing on the rank ladder. You cannot go wrong with this team, the team I used before, or even the team I used before that. We've just been rocking out, getting some wins, and dominating the rank ladder. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.